very interesting ending. And I'm back here with our TCM guest programmer for tonight who selected it for us. She's a Golden Globe nominated actress for her current role as Victoria Grayson <laughs> on the hit television drama Revenge, Madeline Stowe. We're so mm -hmm. glad to have you here. Thank you so I have much. one problem with this film and why I think it doesn't really work for me mm -hmm. is Ann Baxter. Mm -hmm. I think there's something, we know how well Montgomery Clift worked with Elizabeth Taylor in A Place yes. in the Sun and Shelley Winters in that movie and in other films he did. Yes. But I would never believe there was something about the chemistry with Ann Baxter that never really gelled. So I, I had a really trouble that there was ever a big romance there or anything which I think is almost essential to the story. I agree for the romantic in this it doesn't work. It, 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 it kind of works in a way that you just wonder if so much of this relationship is in her head too, right. you uh -huh. know, which is, that's another way to take it. But they were an odd match, uh -huh. a very odd pairing. Well, what was very interesting is that the, the um, in the first draft, the original draft of the story that they almost filmed, uh, they had an illegitimate child. Uh -huh. And the censors, the, the producers went crazy. Right. And, and actually he's executed uh, in the end, really? in the original story. Um, and of course that just wasn't going to fly. Right. But it was, an, it was an odd mishmash. You know, she, she became sort of the Hitchcock blonde, but she's very theatrical, right. and he's a completely naturalistic actor. But she wasn't a blonde like a Kim Novak or something that, no. that had kind of a soft side to her that you could imagine that he'd be attracted to. Hitchcock was a Catholic, and I think this might have hit a nerve, and he was very uncomfortable with mm -hmm. this story. But it's an intriguing one, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and a great premise. Mm -hmm. Really interesting premise. Well, listen... This is our last thing, and it was, it's been so great having you here. Thank and you. you're up to some interesting things besides your TV series. Yeah. Tell us about this uh, project. You're about to start directing your first film. I am. It's a, it's a project that's dear to my heart. I think if there's any... And you wrote it? I wrote it, co-wrote it with my husband, yeah. actually. Um, and it was born out of a period, long period of time that we were living in a ranch in Texas, and there were these crazy stories of Indian abductions of children. And, um, you know, I had never seen The, uh, the Searchers. Um, uh, before we before we wrote it, but it's kind of where that film never went. It's the, the aftermath of these mm -hmm. stories. Well, I wish you well with that. Thank you. Thank when you does so that much. start work? Uh, we're planning on 2014 shoot, so Great. you know I have to complete my work in the. The, the season of the show and right. then get get going. Well, you've been a great guest. Thank you've been you wonderful. So much. So have had a great time having Thank you. Thank you. I have loved it. Thank I you. I just loved it. Thank, Thank you, you for, for letting Do me come be back. here. Thanks. I'm You're glad. part of the family now. Ah, you know. uh, lovely. Okay. Thank you. Well, right now we have to say farewell to Madeline, but we have another interesting film coming up, and as always on TCM, it's uncut and commercial free. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Ingmar Bergman explores the loss of faith in winter light. Then, our birthday tribute to Dickie Moore is in full bloom with Passion Flower. And Walter Houston is a lawyer with a star witness.